Hello and welcome to Project Supercar, the channel where I've built my own supercar using an old Audi estate. And on this episode we're going to continue with the strip down of this new donor car which is an Audi A6 2.7T and we're going to pull out the dashboard. Now because I've pulled all the seats out of this car in the last episode it should be a little easier for me to pull out the dashboard and I've also got to think about where to place the camera so uh, all being well I should be able to record this for you I'm going to try my best and get every detail and we're going to pull out this dash. Let's get this steering wheel out of the way. That was easy. I think I'll begin by removing the centre console and the armrest. Let's just move this trim piece here. There might be some screws behind it. Gently does it. I want to keep all these pieces. And no, no screws. Okay. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll lift the bottom piece of this trim. Let me see this little cubby hole, see if we've got anything. Aha! We've got some bolts, or a nut at least. Looks like it's a 13mm nut. Something's catching it here. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to damage it. Let's see if we can remove the vents. It might just pull away. Gently does it. Gently does it. Yes. Great. Ah, and we have some wiring. Okay, there's a small little bolt in here, looks like an M10, just undo that one. It looks like there's another nut behind this vent, it's just inside there. Armrest is out. I think it's time to remove the gear shift gator. I think it just pulls off. Gently does it. There are two more eight millimeter bolts just inside the gear lever bezel. Just inside the handbrake there's a little plastic panel that just clips off and it exposes a bolt. So we'll just undo that. Oh, 
Ah, uh, yeah. Just needed a little wiggle. Now ready to come off. You need to reach inside here and disconnect the cabling for the electric mirror switch. With the centre armrest removed, we'll carry on and start taking apart the rest of the centre console. There's two more 8mm bolts, one in there and one in there. One down the bottom and one in that corner. The bolts fitted at the top are shorter than the bolts fitted at the bottom. There are two more bolts at the top. Mm. I don't think it's ready to come out yet. I just removed these plastic covers and undo these nuts. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, even with the seats removed, this is pretty difficult to film. Getting a bit of a sweat on. I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to remove the glove box and see if I can get a bit more access to this centre console. Oh, that's handy. Just add it to the collection. There's a series of three 8mm bolts at the top there. There's two more at the bottom. One in there, one in there. Right, I'm gonna have to go in. Oh, there. Ugh. Ugh. Look. 
Okay, come on. take a sneak peek at what's behind the glove box it looks like the airbag at the top I think blower unit heater matrix and whatnot all right same on the other side couple of small bolts in here, one there, and we'll see if we can pull this out. Here we go again. Oh. With the bezel removed, it exposes a couple more bolts, one in here, one on the other side. This panel's not quite ready to come off. It looks like there's something in here still snagging it. We'll remove this panel. This is, this is one of the design features I really like about Audi. They put the fuse box on the inside of the dashboard. That's really good. And this is um, one of the reasons why I chose Audi as one of my uh, main donor cars on the prototype and uh, we'll go into that in another episode. But anyway, I think I've spotted the problem. There's another bolt inside here. Right, let's see if the uh, centre console come out. Yeah. Out it comes. Right, I think now is a good time to label up all those connectors I've just unplugged and get myself a bacon sandwich. Well there's a switch, it's raining again. Never mind, at least I'm relatively dry in my garage. So let's carry on with the removal of the dashboard. I think we'll start by removing this plastic frame. There's a couple of bolts just up here and a couple on the other side. So we'll undo those and see if it uh, is removable.
it looks like there's a couple of hidden screws just up here one there and one on the other side I'll just remove the clocks. There's a couple of screws in the bottom here. Right, with the clocks out, I think we'll just try and undo some of the screws and see if this dashboard starts to come loose. And there is a bolt in there. I think there's one in there and there's one there. So we'll get those undone now. There's another bolt here, we'll undo that, and one on the other side. These two bolts look slightly different, they've got a, a flange on the top there. Okay, it looks like that the airbag is bolted to the bulkhead and the dash, so we'll remove that next. Well, it's a bit tight in here, so I'm doing my best for you, but it looks like I've got to undo these two here, and there's a couple up there. Okay. I hope this comes out. Okay, I'm going in. Oh dear.
Right, they're undone. And while I was under there, there's a couple of uh, electrical connectors uh, for the illumination on this. So I just disconnected those as well. There's two more bolts just inside here. One there. And there's one on the other side in there. This is where I could really do with a helping hand, but I'm on my own, just going to have to struggle. Well, the dash is out, and at the end, it was getting to be a bit of a pain if I'm totally honest with you, so I'm sorry if I didn't film every single detail, but I just wanted to get this dashboard out. And there's a whole load of screws everywhere, and I've, it's a bit of a mess. So I think I'm gonna cut it here, I'm gonna end the episode here, I think it's long enough anyway, but in these sort of projects, when you're building your own supercar, it's not all fun and games. Sometimes you get days like this where it just really annoys you. And I'm going to start breaking things if I carry on the way I am. So I'm going to call it an episode. I'm going to leave this as it is, close the door, go and get myself a cup of coffee and a bacon butty, and then tomorrow morning, off camera, I'll tidy my nuts and bolts and get all this organised, ready for the turbo build. So that'll do. Yeah, I'm knackered. See you in the next one. Bye for now.